raising thousands of torches to remember the birth of Jose Martin, Cuba's national hero. For many, these young Cubans, Friday night was also the symbol that the revolution continues to live. There are two events that are important tonight, the birth of Jose Marti and the beginning of the Communist Party Conference, which will help our country to continue to adapt to the process of change. Last year, Raúl Castro announced a series of reforms to privatize part of this country's economy to foster growth. He also lamented the lack of young people in the government and spoke about the need for a generational change in a country whose top leadership is about 80 years old. Now Cuba's Communist Party is meeting to address internal affairs, but one of the top issues they will be debating is how to adapt the party to current times. Young people played an important role in keeping the revolution alive and they continue to participate actively in protecting it. Many here say that they would like to see new leaders, but through times of great economic change, they also see the value of being guided by the leaders of the revolution in the 1950s. Leira Sánchez Valdivia says that she is proud that young people are participating actively in the current process in Cuba. There is a limited perception of what is going on in Cuba. The continuation of the revolution will be gradual and related to the creation of new leaders. We have had young people that were not faithful to the revolution, but that doesn't mean that we won't be able to find new ones. But not everyone agrees. People like Roberto Salas believe that generational change is not a priority. He's a theater director in Havana that is worried about the pace of the process of reform. I don't care if they are young or old, it's that the decisions are effective. As a citizen, what worries me is to be able to live and enter the country when I want. When are we Cubans going to have access to the Internet? New faces are slowly emerging in the Cuban government, but it may be a while before the country's power structure actually changes. But until that time comes, there are thousands who vow to continue defending the leaders they already have. Teresa Al Jazeera, Havana.